where the original thought came from. But I just finished making a film and we'd been shooting on a digital camera at night from a car and it looked so beautiful. I just, I thought that you could take footage of that and just put it on the screen and people would watch it. Um, and then I just wondered if there was a story that you could weave around one man's journey as he drove down um, an ordinary motorway. And the, the, the whole point of the whole thing was to take an ordinary man, an ordinary situation, an ordinary tragedy, and deal with it in the way that you would normally deal with a global tragedy or a national tragedy, that an individual's life falls apart and for them it's the end of the world. So it was just trying to bring a huge emotion down into a tiny space. Well, I, um, it was nice to play a part, um, which was really the main, um, I suppose the main active um, action was containment and having to, to deal with uh, a large amount of drama um, with with a great amount of humility and integrity and, and containment. So that was that was a strong draw, and uh, to avoid to avoid any kind of um, aggressive reaction in, in any way or uh, to the stimulus that was coming in was was part of the exercise. So that was that was part of the draw actually. And uh, in, in very much it, it, it's a a radio play or a screenplay, um, which was then shot, you know, um, you know, from multiple angles in, 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 a, in, a, in a small space environment. But when it comes to choosing roles, um, I'd, I like to test my versatility and adaptability. Um, I think you probably see me in aggressive roles because those are, those are the roles that I've breached in, um, I suppose, um, so far in the last three or four years. But, you know, hopefully there's life in the old dog yet and I've got a few more characters. At least I hope, hope I have, anyway. I won't be beating people up all the time.